Have you ever wondered what it's like to swim with a West Indian manatee? They are one of the most endangered marine mammals on the planet. Come along with us for a manatee adventure. On the west coast of Florida, about an hour and a half drive north of Tampa, is Crystal River, one of the winter homes for the West Indian manatee. West Indian manatees are large, gray-brown aquatic mammals. The best time to see manatees is from November to March. When temperatures drop, manatees congregate around natural springs and power plant outfalls where the water temperature is warm. They do this because, despite their size, they do not adapt well to cold water as they have very little body fat. Manatees prefer water that is three to seven feet deep. When manatees are using a great deal of energy, they may surface to breathe every 30 seconds. However, they have been known to stay submerged for up to 20 minutes. One of the dangers that manatees face is boats. That is why it is important that boaters travel at slow speeds where manatees are present and that they keep a sharp lookout for this aquatic mammal. Here are some examples of what happens when a boat hits a manatee. This manatee is running across the bottom and reminds me of a hippo. Manatees are normally slow moving animals, but it is estimated that manatees can travel up to 20 miles per hour for short periods, but they usually travel between 3 to 5 miles per hour. Manatees are plant eaters, feeding on a large variety of submerged, emergent, and floating plants. Seagrass beds are important feeding sites for manatees. This one is nibbling on growth on the underside of a floating dock. It is estimated that a manatee can eat about 10 to 15 percent of their body weight in vegetation daily. So a 1,000 pound manatee would eat between 100 and 150 pounds of food a day. Now, if manatees are plant eaters, why do they weigh so much? Although manatees look fat, they actually have very little body fat for an aquatic mammal. Remember, they are a tropical species and have no need for body fat to keep them warm. Researchers believe that the manatee's large size probably evolved as a result of being aquatic and having a plant diet. The plants manatees eat have a low nutritional value so they make up for that by eating large quantities of them. There isn't much food available in the main springs area of Three Sisters. This baby is trying to get whatever food it can off the stick. Or maybe it just wants to play. The manatee's closest relatives are the elephant and the hyrax, a small furry animal that resembles a rodent.
Now that you have learned a little about manatees, let's find out how to have a manatee encounter. You can start your encounter by going on a guided tour. There are plenty of tour operators available. They know the best places to see manatees, and if you have never done this before, you might want to start with them. You also might want to rent your own boat. A pontoon boat is a good choice for larger groups or for photographers and videographers. A smaller, less expensive boat is the John boat. Kayaks and canoes are also good choices. Before you take out a motorized boat, you have to watch a video about boating safety. Observe speed limits and restrictions. Bring polarized sunglasses so that you can spot manatees near the surface. Watch for their noses when they come up to breathe. When you find them, drop your anchor and begin your manatee encounter. Our favorite manatee place is Three Sister Springs. It is on a small canal off the main river. The crystal clear water of three large springs empty into the lagoon. When we first came here, there wasn't a manatee sanctuary. The sanctuary is located between the floats and the shoreline. A manatee sanctuary is a place that's off limits to all recreational water activities. Wetsuits are a necessity if you plan to spend a lot of time in the water. If you don't have one, rentals are available from all manatee tour and dive operations. Before we get started, let's go over some manatee rules. Do not enter designated or posted sanctuaries for any reason. Do not pursue, chase, or corner a manatee while swimming or diving. This includes following manatees for any reason. It is unlawful to interfere with its normal activity. Do not attempt to feed the manatees or give them water. Doing so may make the manatee associate food and water with humans, endangering the manatees. Do not attempt to separate a calf from its mother or any manatee from a group of manatees. Do not attempt to single out or surround a manatee. Do not attempt to ride, poke, prod, or grab the manatee at any time with any object, including your hand or foot. Do not disturb a resting manatee. Sleeping manatees sometimes rest on the river bottom, rising for air every few minutes. It is unlawful to interfere with these normal activities. Manatees, like other aquatic mammals, do most of their feeding underwater and must be able to hold their breath long enough to feed efficiently. Manatees may rest submerged at the water bottom or just below the surface, coming up to breathe on the average of every three to four minutes. 